St. Thomas and his associate, Bongo Water formed the, within the Rastafari organization, formed the Youth Black Faith, which is a revolutionary set of youths too, because within Rastafari, you know, every generation changes. Every generation view Rastafari different. Every generation have their own outlook. So the Youth Black Faith, look on the Kumina, look on the Maya, look on everything and say, no. We as youths will change things along with water. So, they became uh, the Bonaji, anti revivalists. See? For the youth black faith, crisis is candlestick. Look on the structure for Naya Bingle Tabernacle. The center post is Isaiah is Selassie, Christ in the second advent. Only one, only in the center. So the Naya Bingi is around His Majesty, around the throne room, royal throne room, so His Majesty center. So the youth black faith, the make a clear definition who they are and who they want to be and their way of life. The, there was a problem now with the division of the house, house of dreadlocks, which is uh, you black feet or the house of bone and and house of comb some, the ones who comb. So it, and then there's a matter of food culture now. Some are eating fish, some are eating flesh. Now being is a way I tell. You black feet say no. I tell thing you do, you know, take off the flesh, take off the meat, take off that. So the youth black faith increased. The youth black faith created what you've called an administration. Hmm? They replay, they re it, it, let me say in, 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 in a communal structure, you know, you have uh, 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 what you call a chaplain. Manu minister, youth black faith come with administration, we call a table man. They came with an administration. Ganja was the, the heart of youth black faith. See? So ganja... And dreadlocks became the hallmark of that tradition that we have today still, right? So we can see after the destruction of Black, of black Wall, things changed until now. We still have changes, see? So Rastafari had to scramble to find alternative ways of survival, even now. Even now we can see how society have accepted Rastafari ways of life. First of our lifestyle, from ital to vegetarian, vegan, from ganja to medical marijuana. So for Rastafari, his words taking unto itself flesh, but how much of that of those words that we speak, we put money to, how much of those words that we speak, take on flesh that benefit others and not ourselves. That's the dilemma with Rastafari, you know. We know that the food is poison. We say, plant your own food, eat of your own vineyard. Don't eat those foods. We say water is chlorinated. Drink water from the spring. But the multinational corporations make it into business. We still have to buy from them. So you see, that's it. But we're looking at what the Naya Bingi now of a special, uh, of a structure on its own. For the Naya Bingi, the high point is the divinity of his majesty. The full balance of Isle Selassie and Empress Menin. So there are high points of the Naya Bingi that we stand clearly on. For everyone who say Naya Bingi, I think that's a, 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 a standard that we all accept. 
The Nai Bingi, some people might not like it. Nai Bingi chant dead to black and white down pressers. Nai Bingi is non partial. Nai Bingi don't have no partiality in judgment. Judgment for all. If you're wrong, you're wrong. If you're right, you're right. No matter what color code, no matter where you come from, you're wrong if you're right. So now a bingy man will say things to you, might take an offense, but you speak with a clear conscience. And each one who says now a bingy should do the same. But now a bingy ganja is a sacrament. We just explain to how Rastafari have gone to different stages. The Rastafari have a timeline. Rastafari have their ways of doing things now. Hmm? For Rastafari, for now a bingy, it's the religion of now a bingy, it's ital. One of the time you know, in, in the tradition, you, know, you have one you call birdites. In those either the bird eat. Or you say, it means ital, ital, it means above ital. So he does eat when the sun ripe. He does eat cooked food. He does wear, you'll have a bridge in them who wear clothes. He's seeing the hills naked, you know, and it become nature itself. See? So man and man gone through those stages also to become this stage. Hmm? So now I bring the man. Normally, he's a dreadlocks man. That's a standard you could know, you know. Uh, uh, he take the Nazarite vow. Although, in principle, man say Nazarite vow, but him still drink wine. Him still eat pumpkin. So when you look at the Nazarite vow in practicality, he not really obey that. But you can't tell him, say, I'm not Nazarite. No matter you try to tell him, say, oh, you yeah, drink wine and you eat pumpkin, say, no, man. Man a Nazarite, man have locks and man a look upon dead body and rare, rare, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you're more upon that, you know? Now being a chance is of spirituality and revolution. All the chance that you hear, if you listen to them exactly, some will raise you to a level and some will calm you down. So within the now being everything that we do, we do it for a reason and a purpose. We don't just get up and chant, and we don't get up and eat idol, we don't get up and burn Babylon because you have to burn Babylon saying, no, you go get you. But then when you burn Babylon, you have to replace what Babylon set up for you now. You can't just burn down Babylon and go on like say, it's, it's cool. No. So within the Nair Bingy, you have to have a structure, right? So we'll have, uh, <coughs> remember again, the Nair Bingy of their own harps now from Bunga Wato. So Nair Bingy, anywhere you go to so Nair Bingy, you'll always see the three same harps. You might see more bass. You might see more what you call all the harps you know, are, are, are kete. What we call a little one, the repeat, which is the kete drum, but the three harps are a kete. You'll see the bass. So anywhere you go, man chanting there, bingi, you'll always see the three harps. You might see more than one bass, more than one funde, more than one kete, but they're all the same complement. Because you might have more than one man chanting on the harps. And all of us will chant the same songs. And we don't play in competition. We don't play in rivalry. You know, man is chanting, we make him chant, man is playing lead, make him play. I mean, it's a fun, they just keep the rhythm and the bass and the heartbeat. Bass man is always there. So no man across the next man all the way playing harp. So it's a discipline within the Nair Bingy. But let us look on. Nair Bingy is a priesthood all the same way, because Nair Bingy has his own principles, his own administration. So Nair Bingy is run a priesthood order. So the first priest of the Nair Bingy was Bongo, Bongo Puro, born 1907. Bongo Puro started to press fire in the mid-40s in Trenchtown. But Bongo Puro was the man, same way, come through the Kumina tradition, Mayal tradition, same way. See? Uh, the, uh, in 1970, the Bingi, first of all, you have the Judah Coptic Assembly of Elders. That was before the Bingi. Nair Bingi just not came about just like that, you know. Nair Bingi go, you know, every organization go to transition and changes. So Nair Bingi, you know, you have the Judah Coptic Assembly of Elders, see? But there was a dispute amongst man and man. So they went to Bob Marley Beach at Bull Bay, and then that's how the Nair Bingi order was created. Mm, but you see that? So Bongo, Fur Bongo Puro was the one who's, who says that, who come up with the name Ayali Selassie I Theocratic Government. Ancient Bongo Puro first priest. See? That was in 1974. Within the Naya Bingi, for even every Naya Bingi that you keep, or every administration that you keep, you should have, the administration should have meetings. She could normally have a meeting every first and third Sunday for Naya Bingi. 